Hello once again. I'm glad to introduce states functionality to you. The state can be used to calculate how much time the asset spent under particular conditions. This can greatly help with assessing utilization, the health of equipment and other complex states for multiple use cases. Let's examine some practical examples. Simple state. In this example, we monitor the machines on the factory floor, which submit multiple telemetries, such as speed of production, vibration level and energy consumption. We can transform IoT time series data into measurable time intervals to gain greater visibility into the key performance indicators. This visibility allows us to take corrective actions and achieve better results. Depending on the speed of production value, we can define the low, moderate and high state of production. Moreover, we can use several telemetry values to define the state. For example, we know that critical condition is when the vibration speed is increasing and rotation speed is decreasing. We can create such state and monitor how much time each machine had spent in this condition. In this example, we monitor the industrial machines, which submit how many items have been produced. We want to compare the performance of the machines and detect the least productive. Here are the steps required to build the graph. Create a bar chart, add machine field into X section, add state field three times and change aggregation type to duration percent. Create the formula for each state and label the states accordingly. Let's define our states. Low production speed, when the number of details is less than 75 items. Moderate production speed. when the number of details is between 75 and 110 items. A high production speed. When the number of details is greater than 110 items. Enable the horizontal 100% stacked mode for the bar chart and select Show labels. Our graph is ready and now we know how much time in percent machines have spent in different states during the year. Let's analyze another state configuration. The state that includes multiple fields. We can use multiple fields from different assets or devices to calculate the state. In this example, we want to detect how much time machines have spent in the critical state. Such visualization will give us an understanding on how the machine performs compared to other machines and when it should be maintained to prevent the downtime. We know that our machines are in critical state when the vibration goes up and rotation speed goes down. So let's find out how much time each machine has spent in the critical state. To realize that, we have to define the conditions using the vibration and rotation speed telemetry. Here are the steps how to accomplish that. Create the heat map chart. Add state field and change field aggregation to duration percent. Write a formula for critical state change title to critical. And select hours versus days of the week in the buy field. So yet now you can compare values and find the outliers. As time series data isn't labeled by events, it is hard to find out the conditions which trigger critical events. With state functionality, you can analyze the conditions and use it for creating thresholds and notifications. Let's investigate how vibration correlates with the number of produced defected items. Create a line chart, add a raw date field into x-axis section, add state field into y-axis section with aggregation type none. Define the formula that indicates the low quality. Add vibration field into y-axis section. 
Choose the last three months as the time range for analysis and group data by day. Now we know the critical vibration values for the quality. Here are the list of supported aggregation functions for state fields. Duration – the total time spent in state, indicated in hours, minutes and seconds. Duration – percent – percent of the time spent in this state. Get the original value field. Before applying transformation, you need to get a reference to the original field value. Here is an example on how to do that. Here we define the formula. Where average is aggregation function, industrial machine is entity name, it can be asset type or device type, errand details is the field name. All three parts are required for the reference. You cannot access original field value without aggregation function. If the original field value is an attribute entity name or owner name, you should use unique supported aggregation function. State fields supports following aggregation functions none, average, sum, minimum, maximum, count, latest, unique and delta. Each function allows only one reference to the field. Language in most cases, the amount of data for analysis during the state calculation is big enough. To guarantee the performance, the function should be defined using Java language. Java 8. Thank you for your time.